Hey, everybody. I hope you're filled with gratitude today. I wanted to share my thought for the day, as well as something I'm grateful for and something I'm excited about. Before we hop in, I wanted to just make a quick announcement that we are going to be releasing the first couple episodes of the Hatching Creativity podcast next week. And wanted to share a quick preview with you. This is a conversation that I had at the West Coast Symposium with Devin Waite of Circa Behavioral Health. So here you go. So if they had a bad experience with the food, and, and that's highly correlated to willingness to recommend, then let's do a performance improvement plan on the food. Right. And and that will in turn increase the willingness to recommend, which increases revenue, which ties back into compliance because it's a performance improvement measure. I, I think that makes all the sense in the world. You know, what's funny is you can collect all the data in the world, but if you don't look at it, yeah, you would never know that food. Yeah. Right. Sure. It's such a simple metric to be looking at, right. like your NPS score, like you're tracking them out. Right. It's such a simple measuring metric that everybody can do. I hope all of you are doing patient satisfaction surveys and employee satisfaction surveys. I hope you enjoyed that little clip. I look forward to sharing more with you as more gets released. You'll be able to find this podcast anywhere where you usually find your podcasts, as well as on YouTube. If you're interested in being a guest, please reach out to me directly, or you can contact your representative at Hatch Compliance, and they'd be happy to connect us. So today's quote is by Pema Chodron, and she says, we habitually erect a barrier called blame that keeps us from communicating genuinely with others, and we fortify it with our concepts of who's right and who's wrong. Now with that, Let's take a look at some situations in our lives where the outcomes were not exactly what we wanted them to be. And how did we react? Did we blame other people completely for the situation and for the outcome that wasn't what we expected? Did we sit and did we ruminate on what other people did wrong, what other people could have done better or differently, or how the situation could have been handled differently by others? Or do we sit down and do we take our own inventory of what part did I have in this? How could I have avoided this happening? What was the impact of the part that I played in this specific situation? What mistakes can I avoid making again to not replicate this? And by taking an approach like this, as opposed to the blame and the anger, what happens is not only do you avoid creating these barriers with you and other people, but you realize some of the things that could have been handled differently by you and you can avoid making these mistakes again. And it's really hard to do sometimes because we don't want to take that blame on ourselves. But at the same time, it's something that could be very valuable being introspective about your part in any situation that didn't work out the way you wanted it to. As far as something I'm grateful for, for those of you who know me on a personal level, I've been racing bikes my whole life. I've been dealing with some health issues this year that has kept me from being able to perform at my best and to be competitive the way that I would like to be. That's been very stressful. I finally feel like my health and my fitness is starting to come out on the other side. And I'm really excited and grateful to be able to get back to competing again. That's my gratitude for the day. As far as excitement goes, kids are going away for a few days. And I've got a few days alone with my wife. I'm really looking forward to having some time together, some time to connect and reflect on our lives and just where everything is right now. Not only am I excited about that, I'm very grateful for having that opportunity. Thank you guys so much for watching these videos. I can't tell you how much your encouragement and your replies and your feedback mean to me. If you ever have anything you want to talk about with me, please let me know. I'd love to talk with you and I hope you have a great rest of your week.